Hello there, people. Um, this is Travis Energy, and today I'm going to show you how to soft mod your Wii, how to hack it so you can get free games, um, play backups of the games that you do have. I mean, um, yeah, you can play them off a disc, you can play them off a USB drive. You're going to need four things for this you're going to need an SD card, you're going to need a Wii, you're going to need a computer. And TV and all that shit, and you're gonna need a external hard drive if you want lots of games. You don't need one because you can just burn them onto discs, but it's a big pain in the ass to learn how and stuff. And just having an external hard drive really helps. So, yeah, you're gonna need uh, at least two gigabytes on your SD card. <clears throat> so, you're gonna put that in your computer and you're gonna download the link in the description below called Ultimate Wii 4.2 this is for 4.2 and when you download that sorry when you download that you're gonna get a folder that looks like this you should have WinZip or WinRAR if not download it and you're gonna wanna extract it um, I'm gonna make a folder you can make a folder as well you can call it we files. We files. Okay, right there. Um, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna extract it using WinRAR or WinZip or whatever you have. And you're gonna you wanna in, extract it into your We files folder. It okay? It's gonna extract. Okay. So this is only for 4.2. It may work on 4.3 if your Wii has never been hacked before but if you're on 4.2 or 4.1 you update 4.3 you're fucked unless somebody else figures out a way but as far as I know there's no way to uh, hack your Wii once you upgrade so never update your Wii you need to be on Wi-Fi to do this hack so make sure that your Wii can connect to a Wi-Fi um, what else can you going to need unplug all your memory cards and all your controllers from your Wii when you do this, um, you should just have the three cords in the back, your power, your audio video, and your sensor. That's it. Don't have anything else hooked up. Um, the best way to get a Wii is to go to a pawn shop and ask to test them and go into the settings and find out what update they have. You want 4.2. It's the best one. It's the best. And this is what this is for and if you have that this is going to work for you and you're going to love it so this is extracting here i got my sd card mm, you should have your wii hooked up all ready to go you should be able to get a wii from the pawn shop for about a hundred bucks give or take and if you have a wii you can just trade it in and get the one that you want 4.2 that's what you want might cost you 10 bucks okay so here's the Wii files you're gonna go into this this is called the banner bomb hack just so you know maybe you've heard of it I'm not sure okay so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to we've extracted it so we're gonna go into PC we're gonna open up I guess I have to be online for this. Yeah, connect to the internet. That would be very wise. Um, if not, it probably won't work. When you open up your NUS downloader, you may have to click generate certs. Why is this taking so long? Size. There we go. Okay. Connect to the internet. Yeah, that usually helps. I don't like to be connected all the time, just because I think it's unsafe. So I just connect when I decide I need to connect to the internet. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that's done. Close. You're going to want to open your NUS downloader, which is in your PC folder, in the in the files that you got when you extracted 
the link in the description. Shouldn't take this long. Of course, six of them had to open up, just two, that's okay. Okay, so click on generate certs, and of course there's more coming, lovely. Click on generate certs, go to this, go to iOS, then we'll go to iOS, Way, way down until we see iOS 249, which is right here. And this is the one you want 65280, right there. So you should see it right up in there. Okay. After that, we're going to. Hmm. Uh, pack it. Yeah, that's what you do. hit the pack button, and then from right here, you're going to want to rename it to iOS two four nine, just like that. Once you've entered that in, you're going to want to start the download. And there we go. We're done. With that, you're going to get this. Okay. When that is done, you're gonna go back. And you're gonna take your STO. I'm just gonna put mine out and put it back in. I have nothing coming up. Okay. My computer. Sorry, it's so slow. Here's our SD card here. Okay. Sorry about that. You're gonna go into the SD, and I have a WAD folder. You may have to create one, so mm, I'm gonna make it all up. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new one, new folder. You should be doing this too. Create it called WAD. Enter. Yes. Okay. Of course, everything has to go wrong in the tutorial. Okay. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay, so in that folder is where you're gonna copy your two forty nine iOS that we made. So if we go to our PC file folder, sorry, if we go into our PC folder. This is what we made. Then we go here, there's your iOS 249, we're going to copy it, exit this, we're going to go back, 
uh, oh, sorry, into that SD. That's the SD card. Sorry, sorry. Okay, here's the Wii files. We made a folder called WAD in the SD directory. SD folder. Right here. Go into that. And right here is where you're going to paste the iOS 249 that we just copied from the folder that we created. Okay. Once that's done, we're going to go back one. And we're still in the SD folder. We're going to highlight everything that's here. And we're going to drag it. And we're going to want to put it into the root of the SD folder. Of the SD card, sorry. Okay, so what we did here is we created iOS 249, a custom iOS 249. We put it into the SD folder in another folder called WADS and then we took everything from the SD folder and we copied the contents into the SD card. When this is done we're going to go over to the Wii. So I'm going to go over to the Wii now or I'm just going to stop because this is going to take about 45 seconds. So I'll see you at the Wii when it's done. Bye.